Hello, this is Jeff Chand here, and here are the suggestions for SS. This is your vitality plan, and uh, some of the ideas that we talked about when you were in the other day, and just trying to put them all on a video so that you can refer back to them anytime you'd like. So when you came in, we talked about some of the issues that are bothering you, and that would be the chronic pain that you were having in the, your back and legs, and uh, spasms in, in the legs. Stress was definitely an issue, and you mentioned fibromyalgia and the uh, the the diagnosis of that and uh, multiple sclerosis. We talked about a little bit. Actually, we we didn't go into too much detail as as into uh, what kind of treatment you're getting for that or or what uh, type of MS that you have and how aggressive it is. And then we also talked a little bit about weight and uh, weight issues. Uh, you indicated that. Exercise is a little bit of a challenge because of the legs and back, and it's a little bit more of a challenge to actually get some exercise in that's comfortable, that's not going to cause any of the um, the fibromyalgia pains to get worse. So uh, these are some of the challenges that we're working against. So um, so one concept that I use a lot to, to help find balance and to figure out a program for what to work on is this idea of four legs of a table. So if you think about a table that's balanced, and if it's uh, stable and balanced, it's supported by four legs. And uh, if we think about our body that's balanced, it should be supported by four legs as well. And these are represented by different, um, different things, such as uh, the first one is diet. The uh, second thing would be our uh, exercise. The third thing would be our sleep. And the fourth thing would be our stress level. So the important thing to do with this kind of idea is figure out which one is the weakest leg? If we can identify the weakest leg and work on that, then we'll get the most results in the shortest amount of time. So I think as we, uh, we discovered, stress is probably the biggest um, issue, the weakest leg, so to speak. So in a Chinese medicine point of view, that actually is, uh, that's a chart of five elements, it's actually not that clear, but it's, uh, it's connected to the liver. So I think your root condition is your liver, chi or your liver energy is very, very stagnant. Um, that can happen just because of chronic stress, because of aches and pains, uh, not being able to get enough activity and exercise, but liver chi stagnation is, uh, is your, your main, main um, uh, root condition to work on. And I'm hesitating there because there are some other things going on, but I think if we just focused on the liver chi stagnation right now, we'd get the most, um, most return of uh, energy and, and, uh, and most benefit in the shortest amount of time. So we talked about what you can do about the, um, about, let's call it stress, and I think the most important thing you do is Qigong. The, uh, the Qigong routine that, uh, that uh, I gave you, that DVD, um, I think that one would be, it's, it's very simple to do. I, I hope you've had a chance to watch it. But um, it's 18 minutes, you can practice along with it, and you can modify the exercises to make it so that you can do it. With some of the challenges that you're having with your, your back and uh, with the legs, they will have to be modified a little bit. The major one that you might have to keep an eye on is the spinal twisting. Other than that, all the other ones should be fine. Uh, so I'd like you to do that, and preferably every day, and that's 18 minutes, so uh, that's the 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 length of a bad sitcom if you take up the commercials and the uh, the opening credits so it's it's really not that much time it'll give you more energy it'll reduce stress it'll reduce pain it'll uh, improve your circulation it'll help bring down um, cortisol levels and uh, cortisol levels are a measure of how much stress is actually in the body and so it'll help with all of those different things and even if you just do the opening exercise I think it'll have uh, an effect on the liver chi and that's what we want so when it comes to diet there i mean there's a lot that we can discuss in so many different types of diet but i would like you to focus on the anti-inflammatory approach to diet so that's mainly eliminating sugar bread wheat uh, for 10 days and that's including cookies muffins pastries um, uh, and bread and even if it's good organic um, nice quality, fresh bakery bread and that kind of thing, it still is inflammatory. So if you can cut that out and if you could do that for 10 days and see what kind of shift you notice with uh, pain levels, with uh, stress levels, because as we have more inflammation in the body, it actually will make stress levels higher too. 
So you can focus on lots and lots of vegetables, particularly green vegetables like uh, uh, all the different lettuce types and uh, except for iceberg uh, lettuce, it doesn't really have that much nutrition, but um, all greens, collards, kale, broccoli, uh, bok choy, sh- I like all the different Shanghai choy and all that kind of stuff. Um, asparagus, it's great for water retention. Uh, cauliflower, I know it's not green, but it's a great vegetable. And um, yams is a good uh, source of uh, complex carbohydrates. And uh, the, the only one that I would, vegetable I would keep an eye on is potatoes. Maybe try not to have too many potatoes because they can be inflammatory in nature especially for arthritic pain. You can uh, include lots of salmon. Salmon is great. It's a natural anti-inflammatory and it's a great source of lean protein. And I, well, on the coast here, we do have um, good access to pretty fresh salmon. Uh, Sometimes it's a little bit hard to find, but, uh, and brown rice. You can, you can have some brown rice. I wouldn't go too crazy with it. Uh, Keep portions smaller. Um, No portion you should have of um, either protein, uh, the fish, or rice should be bigger than the size of the palm of your hand. And uh, you can choose smaller meals, smaller, more frequent meals, rather than um, the, the larger ones. And uh, drink lots of water, keep well hydrated, and no uh, pop, soda. Um, I would reduce juice, even again, if it's a good quality organic uh, stuff. It's just so high in sugar. So we want to bring down sugar as much as we can. And uh, when it comes to exercise, I wouldn't worry too much about exercise right now. If you focus on Qigong, that'll help get the liver energy moving. Uh, if you focus on the diet as well, that will help with an inflammation. And then later on, when your body's feeling better, then you can add some uh, exercise in, like cartwheels on the beach like these people are doing. Well, maybe not. Um, and uh, just a couple final suggestions. I would, I would really suggest uh, writing a journal. You can um, just use it as a way to organize and, and filter through your, your, all your thoughts and go through the, some past issues and past stressors and, and work them out and just try to organize them because sometimes we get these, these uh, ideas rambling around in our, in our head, but once we finally write it down, then it, we stop processing it or we, we actually do process it in a positive way. So I, I really suggest that if you can do even just a, a paragraph a day or something and and uh, you might notice a, a, a shift with your stress levels. And uh, uh, I think you're doing it already, but make sure you take control of your own health and, and remind yourself that you're the one that can affect your health the most. And that's going to be through reducing the stress level through Qigong and uh, uh, improving the diet, focusing on the anti-inflammatory aspect. And I'll send you, um, I'll email you some more information about, about that and, and uh, some more food groups that you can have. But um, that's, uh, you're the one in control and you can affect your health the most. And uh, something that will keep you going is just getting a vision of where you want to be. Uh, Just looking forward and thinking, okay, I want to be able to walk um, a mile or, or, uh, or just have sustained energy all throughout the day. Just having that image in your mind of where you want to go will make it so much easier to get there. And just remind yourself that, uh, negativity and anger is only going to harm you. Uh, sometimes you may need to process things through journals and, and, uh, and, and under, kind of come into some sort of resolution about what happened or, or what kind of stressors you have. But when you feel angry and negative, it's only doing harm to yourself. And that's what's actually causing the liver imbalance. So uh, Work on those and uh, uh, let me know how things go and uh, you can refer back to this video at any time and, and uh, I hope this all helps and we'll talk to you soon. Okay, talk to you soon.